You were wetting yourself. It was only your Adam's apple. <laughs> Hello, my name is Megan Ruth. I'm a Canadian living in London, England, and I react to British things. So today I'm going to be reacting to Rising Damp Series 2, Episode 2. I have reacted to the previous episodes already. If you want to watch those, I have a playlist devoted to it. I'll post a link to that down below. Unlike the majority of my reactions, this video will not be edited. But if you wanted to watch it without any ads, I'll also post a link to my Patreon down below. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me, especially my top tier patrons. Joseph, Brian, Reese, Kane, Robin, Andy, Hypnobob, Chris, Emil, Julian, Steve-O, Sam, Patrick, Lloyd, Sean, Danny, Mark City 10, and Hi Chris 80. Let's just get started, shall we? Trying to avoid Miss Jones. I don't believe it. She's got a collecting tin. I could hear her rattling it in the hall. <laughs> She'd have caught me if I hadn't got me plimsolls on. <laughs> so you come hiding up here. I always knew you were mean, Rigsby. Look, I'm not mean. I'm just a bit short this week, that's all. It's not as if she's the first. They've already been round for our feathered friends. I bet they didn't get anything. What? What do you mean? Who goes out there every winter and breaks the ice on the birdbath? Eh? <laughs> Who lavishes his bacon rind on them? Not that they appreciate it. Just sit in a line waiting for me to wax the cortina. <laughs> My God, you, you'd think if I was going to feed one end, they'd show a bit of respect at the other, wouldn't you? <laughs> it's the trouble, you see. They'd, 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 no, nobody appreciates my generosity. Your generosity? You're not generous, Rigsby. You spent all last Christmas eating pennies up for carol singers. <laughs> that is a lie. All right, then, if you're so generous, why do you always cross the road when you see a flag seller? Ah, yes. Well, now, there's, a, there's an explanation for that. I've had a very nasty experience with a flag seller once. <laughs> no, 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 no. I had, a, I had a lifeboat flag stuck straight through my chest, set up an infection. Yeah. Oh, yes. Only a few deep-sea rescues, that lot, Bill. <laughs> What's Ruth collecting for, anyway? I'm not sure, but I think it's people. Oh, that explains it. What do you mean? Well, you don't like people, do you? I've got nothing against people. Oh, you give to animals because they're soft and cuddly. I give to cancer. Only because you think you might get it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. But what about that time you came running up here, clutching your throat? You thought you had a growth. You were wetting yourself. It was only your Adam's apple. <laughs> <laughs> Look, listen, I've got nothing against people, but I'm a poor man. I can only afford so much. You should expect more for people. You don't give that much anyway. I've noticed you. You always cover the money with your hand when you're putting it in so no one will see it. Yes, yes, of course I do. You're supposed to. That's your, that's your, that's your bad breeding showing, that is. I got losers better than you students. My God, going around making an exhibition of yourselves, covering people with flowers, smashing up pianos, seeing how many you can squeeze into a phone box. <laughs> at least I've got a bit of dignity. Well, you don't look very dignified at the moment, skulking up here. I'm not skulking, I'm skint. <laughs> look at me, look. I'm the one she should be collecting for. Look, I've already got a button left on this car again. I wonder what you've been putting in the tins. <laughs> hey, she's coming. Look, just, just hang up behind. Just out of sight. Hello, Alan. Have you seen Mr. Rigsby? I saw his feet flying up the stairs. Oh, hello, Mr. Rigsby. Uh, oh, 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 hello, Mr. Rigsby. Oh, yeah, just, uh, just checking the, uh, the, the woodworm. Oh, I thought you might be avoiding me. Avoiding you, Miss Jones, the very idea. What's that you've got in your hand? Is that a collecting uh, tin? Yes, it's for famine relief. Oh. I thought you might like to help others less fortunate than yourself. Of course, Miss Jones, certainly. It's a very, very worthy cause. Yes, allow me to um, contribute. Oh. There we are. <laughs> No, it was nothing, Miss Jones. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> oh, you know the words of the song, Miss Jones? If I can help somebody as I pass along, then my living shall not be in vain. Oh, I wish more people felt like that, Mr. Rigsby. Let me pin a flag on you. I'm afraid I'm not very good. I've transfixed several people already. Now keep still. That's the trouble, you see. People don't keep still. I've had to practically harpoon some of them. There. You learn so much about human nature when you sell flags. Uh, Do you know some people pretend they haven't got any money, even when they're humping three carrier bags from Tesco? Oh, I think that's terrible. Yes. Oh, Alan? Uh, uh, yes, of course. <laughs> um, uh, do, do you know, I don't think I've got any change. Oh, surprise, surprise. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry, Ruth. Well, that's all right. I'll see you later, Alan. Thank you very much, well, Mr. Rigsby. Not at all, Monsieur. My pleasure. See you, see you later, I hope. <laughs> I always find it interesting that um, 
when it comes to giving to charity and stuff, it's usually the people that are worse off financially that give them the most. Usually people who can afford to give don't give as much. That's basically what I've just noticed in my experience anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know what that says about our society. I mean, I know what that says about our society, but anyway. <laughs> Another one straight through the chest. It's all for a good cause, Rigsby. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. She's always ready to help our little brown brother. She never gives a thought to me. See, you've got to, you, you, trouble is I'm not black, you see. You've got to be black to get this sympathy around here. Yeah? I've always said so, Rigsby. Do you want to borrow the lamp? Huh? No, thank you. After all, there are certain disadvantages in your pigmentation, aren't there? Make a dimly lit street in a tent on lorry. <laughs> Have trouble picking you out on the side lights, wouldn't they? Well, don't take any notice of him, Philip. He's, he's in a bad mood. He's just given to famine relief. Didn't want to. He only did it to impress Miss Jones. No, I didn't. I, I've got to happen to have a warm, impulsive nature. All I'm saying is it's about time these fellas started looking after themselves. <laughs> time we laid down the white man's burden. <laughs> what do you mean, Rigsby? How can you lay it down? We're the ones who do all the carrying. <laughs> We're the ones who've been exploited. You're the ones. You've not been exploited, mate. Where would you have been without us? Rigsby, it was a paradise before you <laughs> came. Unspoiled. Unpolluted. Uh, uh, now, listen, you can't tell me about those places, mate. I've been there. Oh, yes, yes, lovely climate, yes, nice, clear skies, blue sea. The only trouble is the beach goes back 500 miles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, not, not, nothing but sand. And did they do anything with it? I mean, did they, did they uh, dig, dig the canals, find the oil, build the railways? Nah, of course not. Just laid out under the palms and read the Kama Sutra. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Rigsby, not only did they do the digging, but they have to do it on an empty stomach. Ah, uh, uh, yes, well, of course. That's because of their religion, isn't it? They're so fussy. They won't eat the sacred cow, will they? No. And the other half believe in reincarnation. They won't eat anything in case it's someone they knew. <laughs> see, that's why they won't do any digging, you see. If they put a spade through a worm, they think they'll cook granny in half. <laughs> I mean, you can't be like that about animals, can you? Oh, that's good. Coming from someone who spends a fortune on tin cat food. Yes, how can you object to feeding the poor when you spend so much on that fat, greasy thing? Uh, uh, sh sh keep your voice down. He understands every word you say, you know. <laughs> here, here, love. Vienna, come here. <laughs> There's a good girl. <laughs> yes, you offended him now. It's all right, the dark gentleman didn't mean it. But I I did mean it. Just look at him. What use is he? What use? He's not supposed to be any use. He's a pet. Would you eat him if you were starving, Rigsby? Oh, we should have to cover his ears if you carry on like this. <laughs> eat him? Of course I wouldn't eat. We don't do that sort of thing in this country. He's your sacred cow, Rigsby. He has the best of everything. Yes, of course he does. He has that stuff they show on television. The one the cat picks out. <laughs> he always goes for that bowl and airing, isn't he? Well, he gets his tail trodden on if he doesn't. <laughs> Now, I might offend some cat people here, so apologies in advance if you're a cat person, but I I don't see the point of a cat. I mean, other than to cuddle, really. Like, I, I get that. I mean, I'm allergic to cats, so maybe I'm a bit, bit biased and I can't cuddle them anyway. So, you know, um, I just, like, at least with a dog, you can kind of, like, play catch with them and, like, they can, you know, you can go on walks and, and stuff, right? Like, cats are just, they just sit there. They're cute, I'll give them that, but um, yeah, no. I'm a dog person through and through, 100%. <laughs> Food should go to feed people. Yeah, it does. Pakistanis love it. <laughs> oh, come on, Rigsby, you don't believe that's oh, not a tale. Goes down very well with a bit of curry powder, that does. <laughs> you believe anything. It's true! You drop a Pakistani from any height, he'll always land on his feet. <laughs> Don't argue with him. Don't argue with him, Alan. He's riddled with prejudice. He's never seen drought. He's never been hungry. I've never been... Listen, mate, when we were in the desert, we went once without out food for a whole week. But we stood it. We are iron men. <laughs> we were the only battalion that didn't eat the mascot. <laughs> a whole week? You couldn't go without food for 48 hours, Rigsby. Oh, yeah. Who says so? Five pounds says you couldn't. Five quid? Yes. <laughs> You're wrong. There'll have to be conditions. As many conditions as you like. There'll be money for jam. Oh, there won't be any jam, Rigsby, and no sweet, not even a glacier mint. I know you've got a sweet too. You needn't worry. You'll have to confiscate your food. You won't be able to leave the house. That's all right. Her money's as good as mine. Perhaps. <laughs> It doesn't really matter, Rigsby, because I'm going to enjoy watching you sweat. Oh. You're going to know what it's like to go hungry. And I shall watch you like a cat watches a mouse. Mm. Now I'm wondering what five quid is now in today's money. I'm going to look it up because I'm really <laughs> curious. Oh, so five pounds 
1975 would be about 37 pounds today. That's not that much. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't go hungry for 48 hours for 37 pounds. But I guess everyone's different, right? Everyone views money differently. Money is subjective. Okay. I'm going to collect your food. I hope you haven't eaten. I think he's got something against me. <laughs> I don't know what you're sitting there for. I'm supposed to keep an eye on you. Huh? It's been a waste of time, hasn't it? <laughs> Told you, you could do it. All a question of willpower, you see. <laughs> How long is it now? 45 minutes. <laughs> I thought it was longer than that. Think you're gonna make it? Yes, of course. You don't understand, do you? See, you've never learned self-discipline, you see. You've never lasted an open boat. You'd be drinking the seawater, rifling the food cupboard. <laughs> well, you're all right. I'm still growing. Yeah, like a big black cloud. <laughs> no, it's all a question of mind over matter. You eating a sweet? Yeah. Don't mind, do you? No, no, of course not. <laughs> is it, um, is it one of those chocolates that don't mark your gloves? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, I, th I thought so. Yeah. Sort of, uh, sort of honeycomb with a soft centre. Well, this one's got a bit of hazelnut. Yes, yes, they're the other one. Yes, yes. <laughs> You're better off buying them like that. You're not paying for the box. <laughs> well, they get no end. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can hear you chewing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he sent you to keep an eye on me. He's got a very suspicious nature, that fella. <laughs> I can't wait to see the expression on his face when I take that fiver from him. <laughs> I think I'll get a beer. Hey. <laughs> Wait a minute, Rigsby. Oh, uh, uh, no, no, he, no, he didn't say anything about drink, only about food. Yeah. He's taken the milk stout. <laughs> What's the matter, Rigsby? Uh, hey, you, you've taken the beer. Yes, I'm afraid you can only drink water. Water? You didn't say anything about water. Rigsby, if you were in a drought, you wouldn't even get that. Yes, but I don't drink water. I'm afraid you'll have to get used to it. Yeah, oh, you see, it's, it's not the water, you see, it's the fluoride. <laughs> it'll, it'll harden your teeth. I don't want my teeth hardening, do I? I'm not going to be eating anything, am I? <laughs> anyway, it's... it's uh, it's all a question of principle. No, nobody asked me if I wanted fluoride. They won't do you any harm. Oh, yes. You should see the inside of my kettle. <laughs> I don't want those little bits jumping around inside me, mate. Well, if you want to call it off, Rigsby, oh. if it's too tough for you. Too to listen, you're talking to an old desert rat, mate. I'll survive. Just a question of willpower. Mind over matter. That's it. I quite agree. Uh -huh. My great uncle always said that. Of course, he was the witch doctor. But he could go with that food. <laughs> Well, there you are, you see. <laughs> you could go without food altogether? Oh, yes. He never touched a crumb. God. Must have had incredible powers. What was, his, what was his secret, then? He never told us, but he just perfected it when he died. <laughs> Yes, yes, all right, all right. It's no good they're taking your food as well. Yes, well, don't look at me, I've got nothing. I've been chewing my pyjama coat all night. <laughs> You'll have to get out and catch yourself a sparrow. If you can remember how. Sparrows, but little things have... You're supposed to creep up on them and pounce, eh? Pounce. Look at you, you great... If you'll catch a sparrow, you'd have trouble with a rubber duck. <laughs> Talking to yourself, Rigsby? No, no, I wasn't. I was just talking to Vienna. Hey, do you realise you've taken his food? <laughs> you, 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 you better start feeding him or he'll have your arm off. <laughs> hey, look. Either way, his tail's moving from side to side. What about you, Rigsby? How are you feeling? Me? Oh, I'm all right. You didn't worry about me. What, uh, what time is it? Nearly dinner time. Yeah. <laughs> Still, I've noticed something about you. You can't open your mouth without mentioning food. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Getting to you, is it? No, it isn't getting to me. I'll survive, mate. I've got a bit of backbone. How'd you sleep? All right, why? Weren't you hungry? But yes, of course I was hungry, but I mastered it, didn't I? No thanks to you either. Taunting me with your cooking smells. You've been wafting them down the stairs deliberately, haven't you? <laughs> oh, yes, you have. 
I didn't expect that sort of sadism. <laughs> Frying sausages and bacon. <laughs> At least you could have had a salad, so some respect. <laughs> you've, been, you've been playing havoc with my taste buds, you know. You know, that's very funny, Rigsby. What is? Well, we haven't been doing any cooking. You know what's happening? You're beginning to hallucinate. No, it's the cat. <laughs> I mean, you're imagining food so much, you're starting to believe it's there. I mean, you probably look at me and I'll turn into a boiled ham any minute. What do you mean, turn into a boiled ham? <laughs> look, you ought to get your mind off it. Watch television or something. Nah, I've tried that. There's Fanny Craddock on one side and Galloping Gourmet on the other. <laughs> About time he got back to Australia. Well, <laughs> you going for the dinner? Yes, oh, nothing much. Roast beef, Yorkshire pudding. All right, yeah. Apple pie. Yes, go custard. on, go on. Get out. <laughs> oh, you as well? <laughs> Didn't take you long to desert the sinking ship, did it? <laughs> oh, my God. You've never wanted anything from me, have you? Only food. There's never been any love, any affection. <laughs> you could handle a tin opener. I wouldn't see if a smoke would have... <laughs> go on, go on. Get out of this. Go on. Oh. Hello, Mr. Rigsby. I found I've made too much fish. Oh, have you, Miss Jones? I thought Vienna might like it. Um, uh, yes, yes, I'm sure he would, Miss Jones. Seems a pity after all those the fishermen have gone through to get that. Huh? You know, mountainous seas, uh, heaving decks, forsake gale, black ice on the rigging, oh. <laughs> and all for that. Oh, but you always said nothing's too good for him, Mr. Rigsby. Uh, uh, yes, 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 quite right, Miss Jones, I did, but I, I'm beginning to change my mind. There are a lot of hungry people in the world, Miss Oh, Jones. no, you're making me feel awful. Oh, no, after all, you couldn't very well send that to Bangladesh, could you? <laughs> no, but you're right, we all eat too much. People are starving, and what are we doing? Spending a fortune on trying to lose weight. Oh, well, <laughs> you've nothing to worry about there, Miss Jones, if I, if I may say so. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Rixby. You have a superb figure. <laughs> oh, I wish I was a little more. <laughs> Little more what, Miss Jones? Well, you know. A little more. Oh, no, no. <laughs> well, that would be fatal, Miss Jones. You have an hourglass figure. Do you really think oh. so? I can't help wishing I had a little more sand. <laughs> yes, but, but, you, you see, Miss Jones, but you've got poise, you see, elegance. Well, I, I was once asked to do modelling. <laughs> Wasn't it, like, in the 70s? I feel like in the 70s, more of like the thin was really popular. The thin was really in Twiggy and all that. Am, am I correct? Yes. I wasn't alive then. I'm just reflecting based off of what, you know, my mom said because she was a teenager in the 70s and old magazines that I've seen as well. Or did that come into play in the 90s? I can't remember. Farrah Fawcett was really big back then. Was she really skinny? I can't remember. Ideal body sizes for women changes over time, whereas for men, they kind of stay stagnant. Although dad bods were in quite recently. But it's a shame. It's a shame. We should all just love what we have. We should just all love what our parents gave us and not think that we need more more sand or less sand. <laughs> Love yourself. This has become a very self-loving video. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> there you are, you see, you could have burst on the fashion scene. It was only for gloves, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, I'm sure that would have only been the beginning. You, I bet you'd have been doing commercials by now. Yeah, I can just see it. Early morning, the, the birds twittering. And there you are, coming out of the woods in your, your gum boots, your little saucy rain hat. <laughs> There's a mischievous little smile playing around your lips. <laughs> Where have you been? Where are you going? <laughs> what have you been doing? <laughs> Slowly, you take an object from your pocket, deliberately peel back the wrapping, <laughs> and sink your white teeth into rich, flaky chocolate. <laughs> I think I'd better go. Huh. I'm going to dress the bird table. Yes, yeah, right, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, here, Vienna. <laughs> Miss, uh, Miss Jones just brought this up for the, uh, for the cat. <laughs> well, Rigsby, how are you feeling? Me? I'm all right. You didn't worry about me, then. I wondered if you wanted to call it off. <laughs> call it off? What on earth for? You don't look very good. Uh... <laughs> your eyes have gone yellow. Yeah, you needn't try to scare me. <laughs> well, it could be dangerous, a man of your age. Don't worry about my age. You worry about your five quid. Well, <laughs> don't get a vitamin deficiency. Look, you... What do you mean, a vitamin deficiency? <laughs> You'd soon know your teeth starts to get loose and your hair falls out. <laughs> Nothing wrong with my teeth, mate. Look at that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking at those little white bits on your fingernails. 
What little white bit? <laughs> I don't know. I've always... What? It's a bad sign, Rigsby. Is it? Lack of calcium. Oh, lack Your of bones cal are going brittle. Well, you Whatever you do, don't stand up in the bath. If you fall, we'd never get you together again. Just a minute. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't get up. Don't get up. You're bound to feel weak. But That's the trouble with scurvy. <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> 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 oh, <my> God. <laughs> State and kidney. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> 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 I've just been arranging some flowers in the hall. I hope you don't mind. No, oh, no. Is there something the matter, Mr. Rixby? No, I just like to smell something burning. Oh, I hope not. I don't want to be slicing the gravy again. <laughs> oh, no, no, I think it's all right. Oh, oh, don't, don't move, Miss Jones. What? Don't move. Oh, you look a picture standing there, your face all flush from the cooking, smelling a steak and kidney. You're going to make someone a very lucky man, Miss Jones. Oh, I'm afraid I'm not a very good cook. Oh, well, I'm sure you are. I bet you'd rise to the occasion. Yeah, I can picture it now, the, the thoughtless phone call from the office. The boss is coming to dinner. Oh! <laughs> yes, and there you are, half an hour later, popping a casserole into the oven, not forgetting your oxo cube, of course. Oh. And at seven o'clock in a low-cut gown, sipping a sherry. Oh. Yes, you'd certainly give a meal man appeal, Miss Jones. Oh, Mr Rigsby, you're just saying that! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Jones. <laughs> Didn't you ever stop? You all right, Rigsby? All right, do I look all right? I haven't eaten for 36 hours. Hey, look at my nails, look at those white bits. <laughs> Don't worry about that. It's all right for you, they're not your nails. Oh, come on, Rigsby, where's your Dunkirk spirit? Where's your backbone? If I go on like this, you won't have to ask, you'll be able to see it. <laughs> He's in better shape than I am. Do you know, I can, I can count every one of my ribs. I think I've got rickets. You haven't got rickets. I have. I was looking at my legs in the mirror. I, if I put any weight on, they start to bend. You know, your trouble, you're becoming demented. It's lack of food. Yes, I know it's lack of food. Remember, I'll get you a nice glass of water. No. I'm not giving in now. I'm going on to the bitter end. Mind you, you know, man of my age, anything could happen, couldn't it? Yeah. Could be dead in the morning. <laughs> Haven't you got any feelings? But what do you want me to do? <laughs> you know what I want? I want help. Listen, listen. We're both white Caucasians. What do you mean? If, if you were to... Uh, if you were to sneak some food down for me, say a few of these sausages, and, uh, and show my appreciation. How? Oh. Split the fiver. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be honest. Listen, listen. <laughs> my teeth are loose, my hair's dropping up. This is no time to turn honest. <laughs> Philip's watching you like a hawk. I know, I know. That's because it's because he likes to see me suffer. She's never forgiven us for the slave trade. <laughs> if I quit now, it'll be black supremacy in this place. <laughs> well, can't you ask Ruth for something? But well, so supposing she, she mentions it to him, where would it be then? Hey, she's dressed the bird table. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, very yes. I suppose you'd like to see me hanging upside down, chewing at a piece of bacon <laughs> round, wouldn't you? <laughs> Look, you see, we, we don't even have to meet. I mean, if you were just to uh, just leave something on a plate outside my door. I'll have to think about it. Well, don't leave it too long, otherwise you'll be finding my bones on the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, thank you for the glass of water. It was delicious. <laughs> Let me down. <laughs> well, he's won. I didn't think he would. Neither did I. Do you hear a shout of triumph? <laughs> He'll be up those stairs in a minute. I suppose he deserves some breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Told you you could do it, didn't I? Well, come in, Riggs. We have some eggs and bacon. Never mind about the eggs and bacon. What about that fiver? Yes, of course. <laughs> I must say, I'm surprised <laughs> you earned it. I only hope it's taught you something. Perhaps you'll give more freely the next time. Give more freely? The soul of generosity. Everybody knows that for. <laughs> yes, Miss Jones? Ah, I've just been emptying my collection tin and I found this. Ah, oh, what's that, Miss Jones? It appears to be a button from your cardigan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so it does, yes. Oh, must have got missed with my loose change. Soon put that right, Miss Jones. <laughs> yeah, Rigsby, get stuck in. Huh? <laughs> you can't tell me anything about famine relief, Miss Jones. Yeah, it's done without food for two whole days. Yeah. And in the process collected five pounds. Yeah. Yeah. For famine relief? <laughs> oh, how wonderful, Miss <laughs> Jones. <laughs> There was something underneath that rough exterior. <laughs> well, you know me, all heart, Miss James. <laughs> Come on, Ruth, sit down. Will you join us, Ruth? Oh, thank you. So, you went without food for 48 hours. Uh, oh, yes, 48 hours, Miss James. Yes. Heavens, you make me feel humble. Uh, yeah, it was all a question of willpower, you know. Mind you, I must say, uh, looking forward to this. Oh, you must be. Uh, do you mind if I stop? Please do. Uh, oh, by the way, Riggs, we don't forget to uh, bring the dish back. Yeah. What dish? The one I left outside your door for Vienna. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the one you left outside the door for Vienna. What was in it? Yeah, what, 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 was it, what was in it? All the leftovers of the week. <laughs> what, you mean all that old bacon rind? Uh -huh. And those sausages we thought were off? Yes. And that foul-smelling meat? Yes. <laughs> He must have an iron constitution, that cat. <laughs> What's the matter, Mr. Rigsby? Aren't you hungry? <laughs> a charming show honestly it's quickly becoming one of my favorites it's been a slow burn for me but like it's it's ah the dialogue is just perfect the comedy is timeless i'm even warming up to rigsby guys anyway thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the reaction don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already see you next time bye